What made you uh, agree to do all those things in that film? You, you were hurt several times, weren't you, in Lawrence of Arabia? Uh, didn't you fall off my camel once? You, several times, yes. Uh, yeah. well, no, once, twice. Uh, uh, it's part of learning to ride a camel, because if you fall off yeah. a camel once, you don't really want to fall off it again. <laughs> and if you do fall off it again, you never fall off it again. <laughs> And the best thing is to climb right back on the hump and, and uh, <laughs> before you... You know, they say get back in the Did saddle. Did I understand? Get back in the saddle on it. <laughs> it's an American we expression. Have, we have an... Or, uh, yeah. uh, no. Going on, to on, the bathroom. On, right? on, 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 <laughs> I never should have started that. Yeah. No, on horseback, they say always get right back in the saddle. And I was trying to make a parallel with the camel <laughs> who, yeah. who, has a, uh, who has a hump. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, let's see, uh, do you have any hobbies? Uh, <laughs> I, but, did, but, I, but if, I, if, I did Lawrence of Arabia uh, uh, primarily because it, it, it was uh, an opportunity to become a film star, if you like. Yeah. I'd never budgeted in my life to be a film star, to, to be a... a, 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 a if I were, but I belong, which is in repertory, punching up a repertoire of plays. Uh -huh. um, I, I, I would never have played Lawrence of Arabia, but I did. And it was two years and, and three months. And I learned everything I know about films from David Lean, mm -hmm. uh, who is a, the master technician, master film. Can I, can I read you something? Sure. Uh, I carry this around. Sure. If I can find it. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, that one, and, and Lean is uh, maybe... I'm thinking of ruling class. Huh? This film is so crude that it scuppers itself in the first reel. It is so long, so slow, and labors so hard to put over each trivial point that it will never convince anyone over the age of nine. A screenplay so naive that every speech seems to belong in a little balloon as in a comic strip. Peter O'Toole, one of our, usually one of our most magnificent actors, acts like the poor man's Leslie Howard. <laughs> My guess is that he saw at once what a ludicrous script he had and gave up the struggle. For the rest, it is amateur night with loads of amateur psychiatry, amateur armchair strategy, amateur politics, global variety, and an amateur American's ad writer's idea of the average Britain and the British role in world affairs. It lasts X internal hour, eternal hours and X interminable minutes, not to mention an interval that turns the whole thing into my longest ordeal so far in any place of entertainment. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia? Yes. You, I thought you said it was a review of the ruling class. That was a trick to get your attention. Uh, <laughs> not only got mine, but the thud you heard was the press agent backstage <laughs> hitting, hitting the floor more than once. Uh, that, after two years... You see that. After two years and three months, that's the first notice that David Lean and I read. That's amazing. I How started about? off as a young, curly-headed Irish youth and came out a, a grey-haired old man. And... <laughs> David that, and I read that, yes. That was the thanks you got. Yes, I keep this. What is that, does that um, confirm something you've always suspected about people <laughs> who write about films or, uh, or about yourself, or, or why do you keep it? Oh, it's salutary. Uh, and if anyone starts quoting yeah. notices to me about whatever I do, I just hook this out and then don't tell them it's Lawrence of Arabia. That's amazing, because yeah. it's just so patently wrong that whoever wrote it should be... Um, yes. Who wrote it, anyway? I have the remotest idea now. Yeah. When you fall from a camel... <laughs> <laughs> Tenacious. How far do you fall compared to, say, an Arabian horse or any horse? About nine feet, really. Well, what did you land on? Rock, sand, or a friend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they were expecting to hear what part of your anatomy, I guess. There was a sort of moan when you said... But uh, didn't, didn't you break part of your head or...? I had a fractured skull, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Gee. Well, now, any time they 
have a thing like that in film that can get somebody else to do it. Didn't they insist for the value? No, of the I did it out of pure, uh, again, I suppose, self-esteem. I thought I could do it better than anybody else. I don't do it now. I mean, I allow other fine, highly paid stuntmen to do things, but those days I, I did them all. Insanity. <laughs> Is there any, in any of you, a, a streak of self-destruction of any kind that would make you do a thing like I, that? I'm told so, yes. No, no, no. Well, when I was a student, a drama student, I used to do stunts to earn a few shillings. And I rather enjoyed all, all that and galloping around. And mm -hmm. uh, I felt I could do it. What do you mean by stunts as a drama student? Or as a to student? earn some money. Uh, people would flog to, we need four horse riders and someone to wave a toasting fork or fall down a flight of stairs. You know, <laughs> one would do it and get the $20, whatever it is, and go and die in the bathroom. And, uh, <laughs> You waved a toasting fork? No, a uh, sword. We used to call oh, it. Oh, is that what you, yeah. 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 Hey, you, you seem like an expert swordsman in the film. Uh, there's a place where you duel with someone using canes. Are you trained in that, too? Well, it's part of being a... a classical actor. A, a classic, do you know what a classical actor is? No. It's someone who's appeared in a play in which there are more people on the stage than there are in the audience. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I, I was in some once. You were an actor. Yes, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> do you miss it? Sometimes. When I see somebody really good, you know that feeling when you see somebody really great do something? Like when Spencer Tracy acts, everybody thinks he can act because Spencer Tracy acts so easily. Uh. I had it a couple times watching you. I always think when I see somebody, re the other night when I saw your film, I thought, ah, I could act. I don't know what that is. Something about on the screen carries you. When I acted, there was not that much evidence that I could act, <laughs> but it, it comes out in dark movie theaters. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back. If we have wood. <laughs> See, we have so little time left, and the, this, when you woke up this morning and knew you had to do this, it ruined your day, and it's nearly over. Is there any way an actor could get out of doing publicity uh, for films? It's the touring around and having to do other than acting that must be irritating, isn't it? Well, uh, it's, our masters uh, don't feel it incumbent upon them anymore to do the kind of selling they used to do, and so one has taken the responsibility, I suppose, now, because I'm a co-producer, uh, I'm selling. Mm -hmm. I have my little egg beater, and I'm saying, do you like my egg beater? I'm helped, of course, in this, because I, I'm reunited with the man who made uh, Lion in Winter is my little friend Joseph Levine. Yes. And he, if he can't sell ruling class, nobody can sell it. He's a terrific character. He is. Yes. The finest. Can you sleep now, Peter? I still have a lot of trouble. I've read of you as one of the classic insomniacs insomniac of all time. Yes, yes, this is true. Yeah. You've tried everything. What are some things you can tell people to not bother trying that you've tried? Uh, fairy fingers. Don't try that. Fairy? It's a, fairy it's a thing that sort of tickles you. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. something, it's concealed in the mattress or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lay off the fairy fingers, folks. <laughs> and, um, There's a, a pillow you can have stuffed with hops. Stuff you make beer with. Yes. Doesn't smell like beer, alas. And stuffing the pillow makes you tired enough to go to sleep? It's supposed uh, to make you sort of uh, yeah. drift off. I wouldn't recommend uh, barbiturates mm. to anybody. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know, I suppose the best, Boston, if, if you can afford it, is a nice bottle of wine. That's, a, that's very good. But then I Watch want another yourself. bottle of wine after that. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. no. Do you worry about yourself, your health? Do you have the actor's preoccupation with you? No, no, not, not at all. No, at nothing all. at all. No, no, no. I never put on weight, uh -huh. uh, no matter what I eat. This is why I think Audrey Hepburn and I were cast in um, in How to Steal a Million. It was because we had to play a scene in a cupboard. We were in a cupboard for 11 days, and I think with the <laughs> Audrey, who nibbles a lettuce once a week to keep slim, and <laughs> I, who can't get fat at all. We were the only, the, the two thinnest people who could fit into the cupboard, I think. <laughs> That's the part on your thinness. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do before it's all over, if you, if they tell you you can only make one more film, or 
you have that one dream project that you want to do? You've played Hamlet. Indeed, I have, yes, several times. Um, disaster. Uh, uh, well, I, I'm, at the moment, uh, taking what, that lovely American word, sabbatical. Uh, I, I'm, I, I've lost edge and appetite for the thing I love most, which is acting. You've lost that? Yes. Temporarily, I'm sure. I'm so inconsistent, I may be rehearsing something next week, but at the moment I have, uh, I have lost it. So I've, I've taken time off to think. Mm -hmm. I uh, might, I don't, I don't know what, might scribble a bit. Archaeology is an interest of mine. Um, I, I'm told that, that being fed up is a state in which 98% uh, of the population are in and they continue going to their jobs. This, of course, is valid and true, but I think that I, who am a performer, if I'm uh, without appetite and edge, I'm going to bore those 98% who are without edge and appetite anyway, so I, I should just get out of the way for a while. That's right. You don't encounter their job, but they encounter yours. Right. Yeah. Except if they wait on you badly or uh, yes. process your bank account wrong or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. But, but there it is, the one thing that's unenviable about this profession where you appear in public is that if you feel rotten... Uh, no matter how the wind's howling, uh, the state yeah. of your poor head, you have to go on and, and do it. Why does it say Areopagitica on your left hand? It says Areopagitica because um, I thought you might bring up the subject of censorship. And John Milton wrote a, a pamphlet called Areopagitica. And, uh, and I, I thought I'd forget it. Oh. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, um, perhaps I shouldn't have revealed that you write on yourself. <laughs> it's not a tattoo, incident. It's a side of you we haven't seen. Um, and if we had brought up the subject of censorship, I would have quoted John Milton at you. So. Let's pretend I have. We have a moment left. Oh, eh? Well, I think he said it um, in Areopatitica. <laughs> yes? Um, uh, to the, it's, it's a vexed question, censorship. Uh, what did he say? To the pure, all things are pure, not only meat and drink. Uh, to the impure, all things are impure. I think that the censorship finally is in the hands of the artist. They can only be the, the censor that uh, it's a very dangerous thing to restrict any kind of freedom of thought. Um, the dangers uh, of corrupting, the risk has to be made, which puts an enormous burden of responsibility on us, the makers of films or writers or painters, mm -hmm. to make sure that the, the young get quality. What, what education is, is the impact of quality. Uh, it also lets in a lot of uh, cynical pandas who can uh, flog their skin flicks and whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. But one has to live with that. The chance has to be taken. I think so, yeah. yeah. And I thank God for dirty pictures, incidentally. Otherwise, if, if we hadn't had dirty pictures, that censorious glower uh, wouldn't have been wiped off the face of the censor and we would never have been able to make a film at the ruling class. By contrast, you're able to make... Yes, they've yeah. opened a little hole and we yeah. can come in, yes. They've held up a sign, there's no more time, and it's the censor holding it up. We'll be right back, stay where you are. <laughs>